Okay, so I learned a new card trick, and I'm going to show it to you. And also I'm going to show you, I've got the new Bicycle Vintage deck, and this just Alien General deck. So, be using these two decks. So all this will work. I'll let you pick a deck. Um, you're going to pick the Vintage deck. So I'm going to put this one right here. So what I want you to do is pick that deck up. Let's give it a quick little mix-up real quick. And I'll maybe do another one. I'll give it a couple cuts. Okay. I want you to just cut the deck wherever you want. Complete the cut. Take the card. So that's your card right there. Okay. So I'm just going to take this deck put it away. And I want you... Now, normally I would ask you to think really hard about the card, but obviously you can't since you don't know what it is. So I'm going to take this deck. And I'm just going to go through and I'm going to try and find... Yeah. So I think that's your card right there. So there's my prediction. So I think that's your card. Now, I will show you how to do this trick. And it's actually quite easy to do. You do have to get the card set up in a particular way. And I'm not going to redo it with this deck. So I'll just show you this deck. You have them both set up the same exact way. Jace basically um, new deck order or ace or king of the four suits. However you want to do it. Um, so what you do is the beautiful thing about this is when you mix these up, if you do an overhand shuffle like this, and you can do it a couple times. You're not really mixing them up too much. Okay, so there's 8, 9, 10, Jack, Queen, King of Hearts. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there's all your hearts right there. It looks like pretty much all your spades are in perfect order. Uh, probably all your clubs too. Yep. So your diamonds are... Almost in perfect order. Oh, there's a spade. There's another club right there. So, you know, they're still pretty good. And when you cut them, you're really not changing the order, really. You're just changing which card's on top and bottom. So you can cut it a few times. So then when you have them cut the deck and pick a card off, all you're doing is when you're putting that deck away, you're looking at that bottom card, you're looking at that top card. That's all you're doing. Now sometimes if these two don't really make sense, you can take a look at another one. So that's the Ted of the Spades. There you go.